What's going on in here, boy? Oh, ho. they find the, the frames and they're rubbing it out. To get up and take down those those wax cakes up there so go and make some foundation. Look at the light. They cover down the light. Let me just take off this light here. Come on all you. Okie dokie. I guess we'll have to leave them to do what they do best. They're giving me they're giving me honey room I clean out. Okay, right. Hands to yeah, man. Bees all over the place, you know, you can see, all over, so. Now that they find this here, I forget and I leave this door open. So I have no other choice but to leave them to it. Okie dokie, we are here at the workbench and uh, I'm preparing my foundation sheets. This is the wax cakes here, and um, I have some wax cake now getting dry, so I had to take it out the mold. Um, and of course, here is where I have the, the two frames that the bees rub out today. So these are the two frames. So the cells on there, the cells still looking okay. They have a bit of pollen down inside. But nothing much. Now this this frame is is pretty good still, you know. But I don't like to use frame when they get this old. See, it's starting to get harder the, the end here. Now let us examine this other frame. This is what I'm talking about when you have a frame like this with all those drone size cells. You'll be able to capture. It will roll very nicely because this is a, a drone frame more or less and the, the top here have some some worker cells but all in all it's still bad see we have the all the drone cells down on the, the other side here some of the drones emerge from the cell and we have some see we have different color pollen there Um, 
There's some more drone cells here. And this is what I do like to keep. So I will cycle all these frames and have new frames in it all the time. So with the with the cake sheets here that we have, now that it's, it's dry, um, I'm looking to see here. I'll show you how how I knock them out of there. Sit down in the sit down in the heap of corn right here now. You see the, these corn how nice they looking? I have to make a little boiled corn tonight. Yeah man, they don't do a little corn thing there. So you're holding the taking the the cake from here and just give it a little whack like where it is do the, the, the frames to the bees like that and it will release from the mold. So we have here a nice sheet of well, a cake of wax. This is from the Solar Tech wax render iron. You see it comes out really really nice. We have a nice big cake of wax. This will make some nice um make a nice um brood foundation so what i do is after i take out all of them right get them out like that nice and easy give it a good shake and it release from the mold you're good to go man so i have i usually would put aside some of the Some of the paper, as you see, I have it here. I'll put the, put the paper on top of it like that so it wouldn't stick onto one another because it, it's very, um, it's still soft, you know. Right? Once I do it like that, I could put the, put the cake on it like that so it wouldn't stick one to the other. And um, another day I'll come back now and start to mill it out. Put it through the mill. I'll be able to get all my foundation sheets. Right, and we're good to go, man. So, in another video, I will feature a little bit of the how I do the rolling out of the, the wax sheets. Okay, so we're going to make some more cakes now. I have the okay, I have the I have the wax already melted over here so I can scoop it out oh wait a minute one thing I make a mistake I have to prepare these these, these um these mold hold on okay the molds are prepared all you need to do is to put some dishwashing liquid inside it so the wax wouldn't stick and uh, this is how I usually do my foundation so that is one piece there that ready hey 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 there'll be no trouble here now yeah. I'm watching you better you sit down over here so I'll take it now and put it right here on the table and it will cool out for itself right as easy as that man I don't make things a problem with me huh? nothing is a problem with me it's just a, it's a no how Right. 
steady as you go. So you see in another timing now, I will come back and start up my mill. Nice early morning and I could run off these cakes, bring them into a tin sheet so I'll be able to pass it through the mill easy and I'm getting all the foundation I need. There are many ways to do um, wax foundation sheets. You know. This is the method I have been using for quite a number of years and um, getting really, really good results. So, perfecting the technique as I go along. And um, for me, it is pretty easy. See if we have a steady hand and not let any fall or cause the hand to burn. All right, and check out this little technique. Then I think this little piece of scoring pad and put it on an idea to make it level. <laughs> yeah, man, once it works, is what we're talking about. So there you go folks, a little afternoon seppi that I use to get my thing in order. And this is the, the rolling, the smoothing roller, which I'm going to be setting up here and come back and do some work with it tomorrow. So right now I'm going to have a nice shower. That is the end of my day. And um, praise the Lord and make plans for tomorrow, God willing. And we'll see what is happening. Be safe out there, folks. Don't go and get yourself into any kind of problem with this corona. She and all of her cousins and everything, you know, come in to attack us, you know. So we have to be aware. Yeah, man. So until we meet again. You know what to do. Waiters. For all those who are new and don't know, even for the ones who are not new, you like this video? Yeah, man. That's like what I'm talking about. Also, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. TFN. Let's rest it on top there. Yeah. So that is the coconut oil. <laughs> 